Hello, hello, my happy crafters. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully, you guys are having a marvelous day. I know that I am. Well, you guys, today I'm here to share what I created for um, Crystal, who is just crafting over here. And you guys, this was so much fun to make. This month, we had our theme of birds and butterflies, and it was for the month of May. And oh my goodness, you guys, like, I had so much fun with this theme. Um, now, I've been supporting Crystal's channel for a couple months now, and I have absolutely loved everything that she makes. She is an awesome paper crafter. She does all different types of really fun projects, especially like themed projects, you guys. So if you're really into themed projects, then you definitely want to go and check her out. Phenomenal work, you guys. And I received her ATC, so definitely check out my video share for that. It is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness. You're definitely going to want to see. Now, Crystal loves um, themed projects, as I mentioned before. And she's very into, like, um, you know, movies and things like that. And, like, story um, storybooks, like, you know, children's stories. And, like, all sorts of, like, fairy tales stuff, you guys. So that's what I decided to create for her was something that was more fairy tale based and i hope i did it justice you guys and oh my goodness i am so excited to share this with you all now for this project i did do um, my pocket my atc holder just a little bit different crystal loves to make shakers and i've seen her make various shakers and like all different types of styles and so i decided to give the shaker a try for this project since I knew that it was going to her and I, I'm hoping that she will appreciate that um, the shaker aspect of it hopefully it brings a smile to her face and um, basically I added all different types of like sequins and just different things and I built this uh, pocket up with different layers and different um, cutouts that I did from a few sheets of paper that I had now I don't really recall um, what the paper collection is because it's just loose papers that I had in my bin but it had a whole bunch of like little ephemeras and stuff like that and yes you guys I am doing this video in voiceover because my microphone um, got messed up and I just received the new mic so I'm trying it out hopefully it works out well but yes you guys so I added a whole bunch of um, like different cut apart elements I um, extracted the pieces that I wanted the papers that I found had like um, this book outlined so I kind of cut out the book and then well the book you know part of it and then one of the other sheets had like clouds and like a castle in the sky and so I went ahead and used that as well and I really love how everything kind of came together um, again my goal was to create like this story like fairy tale story type of theme with the birds and the butterflies and hopefully I did uh, I did that you know I did that well now as far as her pocket like I mentioned before I did do it a little bit different um, than I normally would have done it with hers I decided um, that because I was doing a kind of fairy tale theme I wanted her pocket to be able to open all the way you know to be able to open it like a book if you will and so I did add some grommets now I'm sharing with you guys the glitter that I used and it was like the silver holographic glitter I also used different glitters in there as well and like I mentioned previously um, I kind of made my own little uh, sequence mix I kind of went through my little, different little stashes of sequins that I purchased and just kind of put a little thing together and uh, made the insight for that now if you guys are interested in seeing how I do this uh, shaker window please let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure to create a video sharing with you guys how I went about doing it. So here is a close-up view of what it looks like. And again, I really enjoyed creating this for her. That uh, big butterfly that you guys see on the side, it is a sticker and basically I just um, added some double-sided tape behind that. So if she wants to use that, all she has to do is remove it and she can use it on a different project. And I added the holographic glitter all over the clouds. So each of the clouds are filled with holographic glitter. I also did um, do a little touch up on the butterfly as well because it didn't come with a lot of glitter on it. So I added some red and some of the silver and just added in different places and just try to, you know, bring the butterfly a little bit more to life. Now, right above that 
it's like a shooting star like I wanted it to look like a shooting star so I added like a little um, star um, enamel and um, basically some ribbon some gold ribbon that I had and kind of made it look like a you know to, to give it the look of it being like a shining star right because every fairy tale has like you know if you wish upon a star <laughs> or something star related right <laughs> so I thought that would be super cute to add it in there as a little detail and the ribbon that I used was um, had like a threading through it so it made it super simple I just had to pull the thread and it kind of looped itself so I was like yay all right my friends so I brought it more into focus for you guys so that you guys can really see like the colors and everything like I'm so happy with how it turns out I really really loved um, just the whole process of it I love all things fairy tale as well so this was a lot of fun for me to be able to create and again this is so cool because you guys get to create in your own way and in your own style and so you have a lot of freedom when it comes to how your all you know your project ultimately comes out and I absolutely love how this came out you guys so when she like I was saying before she can actually remove the butterfly if she needs to it pops back and if she wants to keep it on when she goes to store it all she's got to do is basically fold the wings over on the back I decided to keep it rather simple and not too excessively bulky so I just added some die cuts um, to it and basically try to keep it like super super simple and I just basically decided to just add a few die cuts. So I went ahead and die cut some butterflies and just some foliage and some of the excess pieces that I had left over. I used my wax seal and I um, put my letter C, which is the initial to my name. I embedded this um, one of my little butterflies in there. And it's kind of loose, but it's actually holding on really, really well. So I'm pleasantly surprised with that. And then just one of the ephemera pieces um, from one of the cut aparts. So you guys again this was like I don't even know <laughs> and I didn't take pictures of it but I, I was able to capture some of the images you know from the video so I'll be sharing that on my social media and I love how it shakes although I do wish that I would have not put as much glitter into it so I'm learning more and more shakers is not really my strong suit you guys I've only done a few throughout all my years of crafting here on YouTube um, but I do like to incorporate them every now and then certain projects just scream make a shaker out of me And I think this was one of those projects for me that it just said like, you know You need to add a shaker into this project and so I thought it came out super cool The colors of sequins that I have in there are like yellows and white um, baby blue um, regular blue and like pink and I found some butterfly um, sequins that I added in there so for her to open this up, all she's got to really do is real simple. I try to leave the closures really simple. She just has to undo the bow and then undo the loop. And then super simple to put back together as well. And then she's able to see, um, you know, the entire project on the inside as well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and allow myself to untie this. <laughs> and um, We'll get to it eventually, you guys. <laughs> this one gave me a little bit of a problem because I was pulling on the wrong string. But I, I decided to do this pocket a little bit different again because I wanted it to be like fairy, um, fairy tale style. So I wanted it to have like that book aspect of it, like opening up a book. And so I just used my um, crocodile, whatever that thing is called. I'm really not quite sure what that thing is called, but the thing that says the eyelets by We Are Memory Keepers, the real jumbo one. Um, and so I just added some grommets in there or eyelets. I'm not sure which one of the two is the actual word for it I think grommet is what you put on the curtains for the bathroom, but it's just a miniature size of that and so Yes, you guys we're gonna get to this opening at some point. <laughs> there we go <laughs> And that is my ATC which we will discuss in a few once I um, share with you guys what the inside of the book looks like and so It's not an actual book, but you guys know what I mean so I used the other half of the sheet because it's a two, it brings the two sheets. Um, and so how I did it is so that when it's closed, you can read the once upon a time completely. So one half of it is on the outside cover and then the other half is on the inside. And I overlaid that over the page that says happily ever after. And again, to add more of that whimsical notion to it all, I made the books look like they're kind of free falling from the sky, like stories falling from the sky. And to make this background, I used different papers from different collections. Um, I know one of them is Simple Stories. I'm not sure if um, 
this fairy tale paper is also from simple stories but it can be it could be again these were just papers that I had there that I had uh, like little bits and pieces left over so I was able to use those up and again when you close it it says once upon a time when you have it up close you'll see it a lot better um, in the camera the, the glitter that I added inside of the shaker kind of distracts it a little bit but for the most part you can really see it um, in the inside all of those clouds are all cut apart from the sheet that I had and I try to use them everywhere and kind of tie the theme together somehow on the inside you're gonna see there's also like little um, star sequ um, star sequins or glitter uh, that I glued in individually and just kind of spread it out throughout the project itself in order to kind of just add you know that little whimsical elements I added some doodling around the edges of the you know the frame of the window just to give it that kind of cartoonish you know effect as well and I added stars all over the background on the paper I also did some splashes and just you know a little bit of splashes nothing too too major because I wanted to you know still be able to see a lot of it through the front and since the pocket itself has so much color going on because of the, the sequence mix I thought that um, I should keep the inside as plain as possible and then that way when she opens it then she can see you know what the whole thing kind of looks like and so hopefully I did well it sounds really really nice you guys unfortunately because I had to do this video over you guys are not gonna hear it shaking but um, definitely go and check out Crystal's share that um, she's going to be hopefully doing once she receives her package which I believe um, it was delivered today so I'm not sure um, today's Monday the 3rd so I'm not sure you know when she's gonna get around to share it but in the meanwhile you guys can go and check out her channel subscribe to her channel and then you'll be ready to go when she shares it and so this is my panoramic view ATC you guys and uh, it's got a combination of rub-ons that I got from Dollar Tree as well as some of my little decals that I just purchased that I just found out are actually stickers as well so oh my goodness that blew my mind completely because <laughs> I couldn't get the backing off so I thought that they were in stickers but any hoots that's neither here nor there um, so to the background of this this again is a little bit of paper piecing um, it's got a piece that I tore off in the bottom from another paper and then another paper in the background that was kind of blue and looked like the sky to me and I added um, you know the stickers I, I added some double-sided tape and just put those on and the flowers as well there's they're the same basically the same kind of decals and um, I did some stamping in the background with the hearts I put that in there myself and um, let's see what else I did on this okay I did cut out some of the little phrases and stuff and the flowers say my well long arms you have and then she says the better to hug you with my dear and then the bird says, I have no strings to hold me down. So it's, I think it's super cute overall. And of course, that's Little Red Riding Hood on her way to grandma's house, holding her little basket with her faithful companion by her side, just making sure that everything is good to go on her way there, keeping that eagle eye in the sky for the big bad wolf. <laughs> so I thought that came out super cute. Um, I did go ahead and just extend the branch on the, on the rub on because it was real short. Just to kind of make it look like there's a tree somewhere off on the side somewhere and then i added like a field of butterflies on the ground so i added all these holographic butterflies and all of this glitter stuff was purchased on aliexpress um for the most part i know i did buy some stuff on amazon but i think these are all like aliexpress glitters now the smaller glitter is um recollections glitter that's the teal that you guys see there but all the other glitter were from like aliexpress and hopefully um, again it came out good like what I was going for hopefully I achieved the goal of making it look very fairy tale ish um, and I hope that she enjoys it thank you thank you so much crystal for doing this swap with me your your work is awesome I love it love it love it I have loved every single one of the ATCs and projects that I have received you guys are phenomenal I can't stress that enough definitely you guys go and check it out like you guys the ability to share your piece of work with somebody is just such a beautiful thing to experience. It's definitely a beautiful thing to have, and I absolutely love um, seeing them. Now, in the back, I kept it really simple. I just named the ATC, 
and the month that we swapped in and I added a little uh, cut apart in the background with some glitter and that's pretty much it you guys so for the month of June we're going to be doing another panoramic view you guys I hope that you will go ahead and check it out um, and try it out you know give it a try and see if you like it again it's going to be a panoramic view for the month of June it's going to be moonlight and fireflies super fun and hopefully um, I'll be able to do a good job on it because that's gonna be a tough one I think is it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge but we'll see how I tackle that one but definitely you guys I would appreciate if you guys go ahead and check out Crystal's channel go and give her you know some YouTube love subscribe to her channel check out her videos you know leave comments you know how that goes you guys um, definitely show that YouTube love I want to thank you guys so so much for taking the time to watch this video Crystal, once again, thank you so much for being my partner. I already received your ATC, and oh my goodness, I'm so in love with it. You guys are going to fall over when you see what she did with it. Like, oh my goodness, so, so, so amazing. So with that being said, you guys, have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of what I created. Again, if you want to see how I made the shaker window, then definitely let me know, and I'll make sure to create a video sharing that with you guys and oh my goodness on to the next one you guys thank you all so so much bye mm -hmm.